I'm Frank Music, Professor of Audiology at the University of Arizona. Our efforts in central auditory processing disorders and in a more broad sense, neuroaudiology, has been directed into three main areas of work currently. First, the test development for detecting individuals, both adults and children, with central auditory processing disorders. Second, to look at plasticity of the brain and how we can formulate rehabilitative procedures to help those with central auditory processing problems. The third is to carefully investigate the underlying functional neuroanatomy of the central auditory nervous system. Historically, we have pursued these three areas for a number of years, and in earlier work in my own career, I did much in terms of clinical evaluation and treatment. This particular video will provide a glimpse of the activities with which we are involved in our attempts to learn more about CAPD by developing new research and educational future researchers. The members of our neuroaudiology lab come from different geographical locations all over the world. My name is Andrew DeMarco. I was born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where I attended Temple University and received a bachelor's degree in linguistics and a clinical master's degree as a speech therapist. After working in a lab at Temple University that focused on aphasia and central auditory processing disorders, I came down to the University of Arizona to pursue a PhD with Paige Beeson, our department chair, on aphasia treatment and the neural correlates of treatment-induced recovery. I'm currently a fifth-year doctoral student, and I'm looking forward to moving to a postdoc and ultimately achieving my career goal of becoming a tenure-track faculty member at a research-oriented university where I can run my own lab, teach my own students, and shape the future of our field. Hi, I'm Alyssa Everett and I'm from Bel Air, Maryland. I went to undergrad at Towson University where I earned my bachelor's in science, majoring in speech-language pathology and audiology. Currently, I'm pursuing my clinical doctorate um, at the University of Arizona. I never knew that I would have an interest in research, but working with Dr. Music has inspired this interest. So I now work with him at the neuroaudiology lab and working with him and a few of my colleagues, I've co-authored two articles and I've been approved to present at two different audiology conferences in the spring. Hi there, my name is Diane Cheek and I'm a second year audiology student here at the University of Arizona. I was born and raised in upstate New York, just outside of Buffalo, and I earned my undergraduate degree in international studies at the University of West Florida. Following my service in the Air Force, I wanted to uh, enter a health-related career field where I can make a positive impact in the lives of others, and that brought me here to the University of Arizona and their audiology program. Hi, my name is Nicole Denny, and I'm from Eureka, California. I got my Bachelor of Arts degree in Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences from San Diego State University. I have been a part of the Neuroaudiology Lab for about a year now, and I'm very happy to be working with Dr. Music and my colleagues in the lab. Currently, I'm working with a few other students on an anatomy research project involving different parts of the brain that process auditory information. My name is Renata Filippini. I am an audiologist from Brazil and I have a PhD in Rehabilitation Sciences from the University of Sao Paulo. Uh, I'm here doing a postdoctoral research with Dr. Music. I have been working with uh, auditory, central auditory processing for the last 10 years and during this time I have always been in contact with Dr. Music's work, his chapters, articles and that I it felt like a very natural step to work with him directly that's why I'm here. Hi I'm Barrett St. George I'm a member of the University of Arizona Neuroaudiology Lab. Um, I hail from New England and I got my bachelor's degree in communication sciences at the University of Connecticut. Came down here to the University of Arizona I plan to get my clinical doctorate degree in audiology and also my research degree, my PhD, and my primary interests right now are auditory neuroscience and vestibular research pertaining to the aerospace environment. 
Central auditory processing disorders is a relatively new academic research and clinical discipline. Originally recognized in the mid-1950s, this area of scientific endeavor, though extremely challenging, has received much interest in the past decade. Understanding how the brain processes what the ear is telling it has been an intriguing aspect of auditory neuroscience that has profound implications to both patients and the laboratory scientists. Currently, the central auditory system is taught to clinicians using either paper atlases with flat pictures of the brain or very expensive models. And in the rare case, a class gets to see a real cadaver brain dissected. But each of these pose problems in effectively teaching the anatomy and physiology of the central auditory processing system. We are currently trying to utilize the new opportunities that 3D printing technology offers us to improve and enhance the pedagogy that exists around teaching the central auditory system to students who will be future clinicians. My research here at the U of A involves many aspects of clinical and diagnostic audiology with a particular interest in dichotic listening. Dichotic listening tasks evaluate how well patients can understand what is being presented to them at the same time in both ears. Individuals with auditory processing disorders have a lot of difficulty with these sorts of tasks. Right now, we are developing a new dichotic listening there. task mm -hmm. using single words that are routinely used in the clinic to test patients' word understanding. Ayo, hi. Some of the ongoing research that I'm doing in this lab involves looking at structures involved in central auditory processing and comparing how they differ between hemispheres and amongst different brains. Other research I'm doing involves looking at unusual morphology in these structures of the brain and also comparing the differences between the right and left hemispheres and also looking at the prevalence of these unusual uh, morphological patterns. My research here involves collecting responses from the auditory system of people without hearing problems while they are being stimulated by two briefly presented sounds. When the interval between the sounds is short, one might interfere with the perception of the other, and this is called auditory temporal masking. Understanding how the uh, normal system works in a situation like this helps us to understand the mechanisms of central auditory processing disorder. Our track record is a strong one and we build upon our previous work to break new ground in our investigations of current problems that at the basic science level and at the clinical level will advance diagnostic and treatment possibilities for CAPD. Understanding how the brain processes what the ear is telling it has been an intriguing aspect of auditory neuroscience that has profound implications to both patients and the laboratory scientists.